Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time between videos, but I'm really excited to be here today to share with you what I have been working on for um, the secret bunny swap um, that has been hosted, is being hosted by Patty from Mummy and Me Crafts. Um, and it's the first hop I've taken part in in a really long time and I was really excited to be asked to be part of this one. And I can't wait to show you what I put together because it's been a long time between crafty videos but I haven't actually been crafting a lot just for fun um, for a while so it was really fun to just pull out some old collections and bits and pieces and just make some goodies so what I'm going to do in this video is show you what I made and then what I've put into my swap um, and then we'll package it all up and I'll pop it in the post to send off so we all were um, made a tote using Christian's um, tutorial which I'll link down below so we all made the same tote and then that was really the only um, rule of the swap make a tote make it spring sort of themed and then fill it up with goodies of any kind of goodies that you wanted so um, here is my tote I used the um, Maggie Holmes garden party collection because I had quite a lot of that and I just love the spring bright colors of that and the florals and all that um, and I put this little bunny on the front because I thought that that was very cute and spring themed. And I made my front pocket into a shaker with all this these sequins. Um, lined it with pink paper and just did. I just kept it pretty simple. Um, you know me, my crafting is. I like a little bit of detail, but it is pretty simple. So there is my tote. I'm going to put that off to the side, and I will show you all the goodies I made to put in it, and then we will pop it all in together and go through. So I might move all this stuff over, make some rustling. Okay, so there wasn't really any rules and I haven't been crafting for a while. So I'm just going to pull my chair over. I just sort of didn't even really know where to start. So I'm going to share what I have put in this and then um, go from there. So I, I had this really cute crafty lady patch. So I thought that I would put that on. I've just packaged it up, made a wee dangle charm and this fits perfectly into this front pocket and I just love how that looks so you can see that that would just sit there and then the other sort of decoration -y part I made was this really cute massive um just it's like on this these plastic pink clip and it's just a giant tassel it's just tied up of like all these beautiful trims and stuff that oh no sorry guys the has pulled this cute little butterfly I put on the front there as well. Um, this is the little pom-pom charm and tassel and I am just going to put that on the side of the tote so it'll look like that. It's very hard to take a picture but I'll try and add some pictures at the end but it just adds a little bit of extra to over there to the tote and it looks really cute with all the right colors so let's just start going through I made a sequin box I haven't made one of these for a really long time but I couldn't help myself so here is my sequin mix that I've made for my partner who is a secret <laughs> um and you will find that out um once she shares her video of receiving this but here is just the little sequin mix I made I've just put some whites and clears, yellow, peachy pinks, bright pinks, purple, blue, and mint green. So I love these containers. I have very few left. I haven't been able to find them again. So I've used one of those to create this little sequin box. And then I've just made a little sleeve to go on the outside. What else? I've got these flowers. So these are some Rosie Studio flowers, but I thought the colors just went perfectly with this collection. And then I just decorated the top with this little lad butterfly and I made quite a few of these from the swap and um, okay so this one here I will try and open this this is like a little clipboard I made um and it's just like a long clipboard and it's just full of some little goodies so it's quite simple I'd made some of these before and they're just some little goodies from garden party little sequin shaker little tag and this little pocket is full of little bunny stickers so 
also the other little stickers on the front that I made. So that's from a digital file I brought a long time ago. And I just printed a few of those out and cut them out. So there's that. There's a little circle. There's just some little bits and pieces. A little giant shaker tag. Um, so there's that. And I just popped a wee charm on the bag. And um, I made some of these like layered banner um, embellishments. And I used one of them to decorate this. These are some little vintage book bags that I made. Um, and there's some little other goodies as sheet, my last sheet of these little sticker girls I made and some alphabets but I made a set of these little bags so they've got paper from the collection on the back and then a vintage Alice in Wonderland book and then each one has like a little cluster so you can just use them like a little book bag so I just these little collections i'm just gonna i'll probably stop and have to repackage everything up what else have i got i just decorated this these are some really cute little um flower embellishments like little tiny flower embellishments and i just packed them in the sleeve um this is a little um envelope a uh, library pocket that i made and i had just made it decorated with a little um confetti bound confetti shaker and then I have made some of this which I will pull sorry I've got some here so these are just like ribbons of fabric scraps that I've sewn together but they're really cute for embellishing projects and stuff so I just popped um a couple of pieces of that and just wrapped it around a card so my swap partner can use that to decorate things like I've used a little piece here you can cut bits off and just stick it on. Um, here is a packet of gems. Um, these are some Rosie Studio ones, but they're just really pretty colours that go nicely with this collection. Um, some kidding, candy kittens. So I thought the colours went really well. A little packet of sparkly white pegs. Um, a sequin mix. So it's some of the sequin mix that I put in the front. Just pop this wee tassel on the top. Um, I shared some dyes, Rosie Studio dyes that I thought went nicely with this collection. So there's the wee bunch of flowers, the cute wee deer, and then this little lady silhouette with the flower in her hair. And then um, here is a little hydrogel eye mask. These are from France that I picked up. Um, and I just decorated the package, but these are like little angel wings. Here is a really cute envelope that I had already made when I did a challenge with Alicia and Tennille last year or the year before, but um, perfect. And it, I made a whole bunch of these um, layered butterflies. So I just have a cut file that I made um, and I just layer all these like paper scraps of all the different um, garden party papers that I thought would be really cute and then my partner swap person can just use those to decorate things or just keep them in this little bag got a little packet of these tiny tiny little roses and lastly this little pack of embellishments so these are like this one here so I just made them so they've like got paper up oh, sorry paper on the back and then another paper and then some chul and then some vellum and then a ruffle and they're all just very very cute so I just popped a couple of those in a little bag and then I've added this little charm on here so I will package all these things back up I'll be in a minute and we can pop them all in the box okay so that is now like jam-packed like maybe I could fit like one tiny more thing in there but this is stuffed full of goodies um, so it is chock-a-block and I have cut down this box so I can fit it in here. Perfect size, it can fit the little clip in the side. And look at that, like literally perfect. And then to just finish it off, I have got this beautiful um, packaging confetti mix with like little balls and these are really cute like giant heart, I'm oh, not heart giant flower sequins that I found and I'm gonna sprinkle some of this in here 
um, just everywhere, all over the show. And then I will, probably should have pulled this out already. Hmm. I'm just going to put a little bit of this like in here, not over the top. Pull the, this one's got, just so it's like perfectly packaged in there. And then I will, before I send, I will just fold this over and it will be all good to go. But I just need to write a little note for my um, swap partner and send it off. So um, I will link all the details below for the swap so that you can go and watch all the other ladies um, and see what they've sent off. And then hopefully soon you'll be able to see videos of all the things people receive. So then we'll be able to figure out who sent what to who. But um, this has been really, really fun to take part in make sure you check all the other ladies out i will link them down below and thank you so much patty for hosting us it was really really fun to be part of a swap again thank you so much see you later bye